Here we go. A five, six, seven, eight. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 funniest SNL dance sketches. Let's make this happen. For this list, we'll be looking at the most hilarious and side-splitting dance scenes that Saturday Night Live has ever produced. In the comments, let us know which sketch is your favorite. Number 20. Late Night Battle In this 2018 sketch, host Aquafina took the opportunity to show off her dance moves. She plays a member of a dance crew who meets for a dance-off against a rival crew. When it's her team's turn to show them up, their choice of music is surprising. Let's get that! <laughs> Using the Price is Right theme song, the sketch receives an uproarious laugh from the studio audience, which is amplified by the choreography. The scene ends with musical guest Travis Scott serving up his own moves along to the Jeopardy theme, making the sketch a definite winner. <laughs> What up with that? If you've tuned in to the first season of Ted Lasso, you know that SNL alumnus Jason Sudeikis is an expert at doing The Running Man. Before he co-created the series, he perfected the dance on Saturday Night Live in the recurring sketch What Up With That. The sketch is set up as a BET talk show hosted by DeAndre Cole, aka Keenan Thompson, who's a little obsessed with his own theme song. What's up with that? In the background, Jason can be seen doing the dance that was popularized in the 1980s and created by MC Hammer. There's a lot going on in the sketch, but in the midst of the chaos, Sudeikis' moves stand out. What's up? I say what's up? Number 18. Peyton Manning Locker Room For sports fans, Peyton Manning is a god amongst men. The athletic titan has achieved greatness on the field, and when he came to host Saturday Night Live, he also proved himself worthy of comedy gold. During one of the night's best sketches, Peyton plays a basketball captain whose team is down in the dumps after a disastrous first half. His coach, Will Forte, does everything he can to pep up his team, including getting them up on their feet to dance. Forte's ridiculous moves cause his co-stars to break character. Eventually, the former Denver Broncos player joins in on the fun, making this sketch a certified touchdown. Number 17. Halloween Party In 2014, radio stations were blasting Sia's hit Chandelier on repeat. The popular tune ended up finding its way to SNL in a sketch that mashed up the music video's signature bodysuit, angular dance moves, and the Halloween season. Starring host Jim Carrey and player Kate McKinnon, the two have a dance-off when both of them attend a work party dressed in costume as the girl from the music video. Both experts of physical comedy dance their way into the live studio audience, and even Lorne Michaels can't help but get in on the action. <laughs> Number 16. Jillian Chiz Helps Students Find Their Fosse before she assumed hosting SNL duties, Christina Applegate was learning how to master the Fosse technique during her run in the 2005 revival of Broadway's Sweet Charity. Years later, in 2012, she used her skills in Studio 8H. This is Fosse! That is Fosse! This is not Fosse, okay? If I see any of you doing that, I will be doing this. 
which is me pointing to the door. Playing a dance teacher by the name of Jillian Chiz, she teaches a class on the legendary choreographer's challenging moves. However, she uses some interesting terminology, such as kakonks and zazaz, much to the bewilderment of her students. I'm confused. What? Yeah, sorry, you, you just said donka donka. Yes, that's correct. And from the donka donka, we have a conk, we have a zow, 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 zow. You got that? All right, come on. <laughs> This don't make no sense. It's a fun sketch, especially for any theater lovers who will appreciate all the musical theater references. Number 15, Black Swan. There's someone whose Black Swan is far superior. Who? Her? <laughs> no, not her. Her. <laughs> In early 2011, one of the most topical films of the moment was Darren Aronofsky's psychological thriller Black Swan. The future Academy Award-winning film is a deep dive into the dark side of the ballet industry, and SNL doesn't hold back from having some fun with that. She is hungry. Hungry for breadcrumbs. <laughs> Featuring host Jim Carrey as Mila Kunis' character Lily, aka The Black Swan, the comedian takes all the elegance of ballet and turns it upside down. The contrast evokes some hilarious results and showcases Carrey's signature physical comedy style, which is a crowd pleaser. <laughs> Number 14, Anne Margaret. Following the success of the 2012 bit, Kristen Wiig revisited the same premise a year later with this sketch. Playing 60s screen icon Anne Margaret, Wiig shimmies and flails around in the retro inspired sketch. Right over there. Yeah, you're not very close. It's over here, actually. Co-starring host Ed Helms, her long-lasting attempt at disposing of the garbage is side-splitting and some of Kristen's best physical comedy. Okay, now you're straddling it. Now you're straddling it. How do you not know it's there? Now where are you going? While it's super niche, the concept works well, and although it might not live up to the same popularity of its predecessor, the scene holds its own. <sighs> Oh, there's someone at the door. Let's make this happen. Number 13, James Brown's Celebrity Hot Tub Party. As one of SNL's most legendary cast members, Eddie Murphy became well known for his spot on impressions. He covered everyone from Stevie Wonder to Mr. T, but perhaps his best impersonation was James Brown. Hot tub! Ha, I'm full of water! In James Brown's Celebrity Hot Tub Party, Murphy plays up the godfather of soul's iconic dance moves. More focused on his choreography than actually getting into the tub, this sketch is peak physical comedy. Plus, we can't help but suspect that a later sketch featuring Kristen Wiig was inspired by this memorable moment. God! Number 12, King Tut. Arguably Steve Martin's most famous Saturday Night Live performance, King Tut's success didn't end after the cameras stopped rolling. The song actually reached the top 20 on the Billboard Hot 100, making the whole sketch quite a sensation. Now when he was a young man, he never thought he'd see people stand in line to see the boy King. King Tut. How'd you get so funky? Composed by Martin himself, the song parodies the Egyptian pharaoh's popular roving exhibit that toured the USA in the late 70s. Throughout the sketch, Steve dances and sings his way through the funk-inspired number. Dancing by the Nile. This one's up. He ate a crocodile. In recent years, the performance has come under fire and even sparked a protest at a college in Portland, Oregon for cultural appropriation. 
Nevertheless, audiences went wild for the sketch at the time, and it remains unforgettable. Number 11, Blues Brothers Soul Man. Conceived by Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, the Blues Brothers got their start when they made their on-screen debut in 1978. During a performance with Art Garfunkel, the comedians dressed in their now infamous suit and tie combos and accompanied Garfunkel and his band. The shtick paid off, and before they knew it, they were musical guests themselves. Who's proud of Performing the song Soul Man, which would go on to become a chart topper, they move and groove to the bluesy sax and harmonica driven track. Not only is it a great moment, but it goes down as one of the most famous acts in SNL's history. Number 10 Cha Cha Slide in 2019, ex-SNL writer and returning host John Mulaney got an opportunity to show off his dancing skills in this sketch, along with cast member Ego Wodum. I'm sorry to be weird. Is like your mom here? I told you everyone's here. Take it back now, y'all. What hop this time? Now shoot them dice. Now roll them seven. The two play a couple attending a wedding, and Mulaney is riddled with nerves about meeting his girlfriend's family. Now pull out the church fan and wave that fan! Church fan? I didn't bring a church fan. Oh, I have an extra. Shaking off his worries on the dance floor, the pair partakes in the wedding staple of dancing to DJ Casper's 2000 hit Cha Cha Slide. But this time, it features a bunch of new moves. Hey, Daniel, I thought that was you. Hey, Miss Daly. in a tournament down at the church. We won $60. Turns out this plus one knows everyone better than he thought and proves to be a pretty good dancer, too. I'd love for you to meet my brother. He's the DJ. All right, I want to thank everybody for having me. I just want to give a quick shout out to the man that produced my first mixtape, Daniel Weissman. <laughs> Dean Money, I love you, man. Appreciate you, Demarcus. Number nine, Cobras and Panthers. It's been said that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And if that's true, then this sketch is one heck of a compliment. And when the covers are done, there won't be a one left standing. So look out, Panthers, cause we're the Cobras! Parodying musical theater legend Stephen Sondheim's masterpiece West Side Story, this sketch features host Robert Downey Jr. and a gang of singing and dancing gang members a la Sharks and the Jets. The choreography features West Side Story's signature snap and ballet-inspired moves made famous by Jerome Robbins. No, it does not happen. This was clearly choreographed. Well, you know, he was dancing and I saw what his legs were doing. I kind of copied it like this. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> The sketch is a funny and lighthearted poke at not only the musical, but also the entire musical genre for its spontaneous nature of breaking into song and dance. <laughs> Number 8 Dancing in the Dark. When it comes to comedy, sometimes the most simple idea is the most effective. <laughs> During this sketch, Steve Martin and Gilda Radner play googly-eyed strangers who meet each other's gaze in the middle of a crowded restaurant. <laughs> Lights dim and time stops as they begin to dance across the famous 8H studio and around the live audience.
They're not the most graceful or skilled dancers, but it's their commitment to playing it straight while simultaneously looking absolutely ridiculous that makes this sketch comedy gold. <laughs> Number 7. Single Ladies In 2008, Beyoncé's Single Ladies Put a Ring on It took the world by storm. Not only did the song, music video, and signature choreography become a sensation, but so did this sketch. Featuring Queen Bee herself, Justin Timberlake and cast members Andy Samberg and Bobby Moynihan, the scene asks, what if these guys were her backup dancers? <laughs> Outfitted in the famous black leotards and heels, the guys put their own spin on the dance, which is less than stellar. <laughs> However, when it comes to comedy, the badder the better, making this dance absolute perfection. Number 6. The Spartan Cheerleaders Spartan check up! Take a chance, drop your pants, pee in the cup! Dr. Spartan's in the house and he will fix you up, break it down now! It's hard to name a more dynamic duo than cheerleading hopefuls Craig and Ariana. These characters, created and performed by Will Ferrell and Sherry O'Terry, are full of school spirit, high kicks, and a willing attitude in their recurring sketches. I'm getting so wired! I know. <laughs> well, maybe it's because we've had nine cups of coffee within an hour! The practice one sees them sneaking into the gym to rehearse for tryouts, where they pull out all of their best moves. Unfortunately for this pair, their enthusiasm gets the better of them. I wanna wanna want the best! Say what? Between their ridiculous chants and messy high kicks, their dreams of joining the Spartan cheerleading squad might never come true, but their commitment and dedication are certainly admirable. We're on a caffeine high, so hold on tight. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Number 5. The Roxbury Guys <laughs> Inviting viewers into a 90s club, Chris Kattan and Will Ferrell offer up two of the most memorable characters of their era on SNL. Known as the Roxbury Guys, they're two club dwellers who can't dance, can't flirt, and have zero game, often joined by a third person. When that person is host Jim Carrey, the trio bounce around from party to party, bobbing and bouncing along to Hathaway's What is Love? The recurring sketch became such a hit that it successfully head-bobbed its way right to the big screen when the characters received a big screen adaptation in 1998's A Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> Number 4. Haunted Elevator featuring David S. Pumpkins And now, hold on for dear death! In 2016, Saturday Night Live introduced viewers to one of its most talked-about characters of all time. Featuring host Tom Hanks, this sketch starts off with a couple visiting a haunted attraction. How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins, and I'm gonna scare the hell out of you! There they are introduced to David S. Pumpkins, a man dressed head-to-toe in a jack-o'-lantern pattern suit, accompanied by two dancing skeletons. The sketch, from the costumes to the dancing, is truly bizarre. And 
even the characters themselves can't quite figure out what's happening. Despite all this, the character became so popular he even received his own animated special a year later. Any questions? Number 3. Liza Minnelli Tries to Turn Off a Lamp Oh, sure, I'd be delighted! Just let me turn off some of these lamps! National treasure Liza Minnelli is a triple threat. She can do it all – sing, dance, and act. But can she turn off a lamp? It's a question for the ages, and thanks to SNL, we have an answer. You can't get one! You can't get twice! You can't get three times! Starring Kristen Wiig and Jonah Hill, in this sketch they play Minnelli and her unnamed friend as they prepare to leave her apartment to watch the opening night of the Broadway musical Cats. Before they go, Liza has to turn off a lamp, but instead turns the simple task into a dance. Is it a foot chopper? Once! <laughs> Twice! <laughs> Wig makes a meal out of her Fosse-inspired gestures and earns every laugh in what has to be one of her funniest moments on the series. And we missed the show. The heck with cats, let's dance! <laughs> Number 2. Lunch Lady Land As an SNL cast member, Adam Sandler gained notoriety for his original musical comedy. Just know everything's doing fine down here in Lunch Lady Land. Armed with his guitar, Sandler blessed viewers with this song told through the perspective of a high school lunch lady. Cause my red hair is falling out. The unsung hero, played by fellow cast member Chris Farley, dazzles with graceful turns, spins, and commitment to the sketch. Drop it, go, stop it, stop it, go. The two are even joined on stage by a cast of foods like garlic bread and a sloppy joe sandwich. From the get-go, Farley goes the extra mile to try and make Sandler laugh, which he successfully pulls off several times throughout the performance. What makes the sketch stand out is that not only is it hilarious, but also a special moment between two friends. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Omeletteville – Justin Timberlake plays a dancing and highly competitive restaurant mascot. Who cooks the egg good? Who? Yum, yum, yum. Bring it on in the Omeletteville. Boy Dance Party. With Bruce Willis, this sketch features a move called Shake That Sack. Fellow spread of shoulder with that flex your back. Oh, uh, yeah! Pull your hands up in the air and shake, shake that sack! Shake it! Shake it! Disco Booty Junction. Sigourney Weaver and Kristen Wiig perform a disco-inspired number. Samurai Night Fever. John Belushi dances to disco in this Saturday Night Fever parody. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chippendales Audition Marcy, music. In this sketch, Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley play aspiring Chippendale dancers who make it to the final round of auditions. Everybody! 
Both Swayze and Farley are totally committed to the outrageous choreography. That includes lots of thrusting, jumps, and even the worm. In the 21st century, the sketch from 1990 has received criticism for its portrayal of body image. It's an important reflection, especially considering that the sketch still continues to gain a lot of attention today. Farley's athleticism, energy, and fuel are the driving forces of the piece, and prove that no matter how much time passes, he'll always be one of the best and brightest in the history of the show. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.